Hey, guess what? My first ever merch drop is here. If you're interested, click the link below to pre-order now. What's up, Anaritax? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Minecraft Makeover. This is the series where I make over the builds you guys send me. If you want to see your build featured in this series, then make sure to come join my Discord so you can find out how to send me your build. Okay, now the first thing we do in these videos is take a look at the build submissions without any texture packs or any add-ons or anything. The only thing we'll be seeing are Minecraft's beautiful vanilla basic standard default textures. Um, but yes, I do have a shader on because, well, it's pretty. The build for today's video was submitted by Arena Dreams, so let's go check it out. In three, two, one. It's purple. Oh, we have a purple house. Oh, I already love it. I love it. Let's do a fly around. So this is the front of the house. There's a cute path leading up to the front porch. There's a working chimney. Over here we have a cute garden area with a little bench seating spot. Wait, that's cute. What is this? Hiya, it's Jeb. I want to say I miss you in X life, but I'm here now and I'm loving my new home. <gasps> Oh, Jeb. Jeb's house is in the shape of a heart. Stop it. That's adorable. As we continue to fly around the house, I notice that there's only a bush. So we're definitely going to have to add in a bunch of landscaping to this house. Now that we've seen the outside of this build, let's take a look on the inside. Okay, so let's make our way to the front door. And what do we have? Blue floors. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, we've got a small kitchen over here. It looks like there's space for a dining area. Here's the fireplace. That looks really cool. It's like, it's like kind of modern. There's a grandfather clock. That is so clever. Okay, I kind of like how this house is like you walk into the kitchen. That's pretty cool. What's this way? Oh, we got a little office desk set up. I see some stairs going up that way. And then what's over here? We have a living. Oh my gosh, stop it right now. You made a a heart shaped bookshelf and this even looks like there's drawers stop it is there anything in here <gasps> a special note hi you look beautiful no matter what you look like in the day love you that is so cute stop stop it that's very cute thank you okay but i think that's it for the bottom floor we just have the kitchen and office space and the living room so now let's go upstairs what is up here? We have a bedroom. Oh, and it's a loft that looks down into the living room. I fell. I didn't mean to fall down. Wait, I'm just gonna fly back up here. Hello. Okay, this is cool. We have some shelves on the wall, a bed over here. Oh, we have another lamp on a nightstand. Well, this is a very cute house. I am very excited to give this one a makeover. Now that we've toured this build submission, it's time to layer on a bunch of texture packs and go into speed build mode. Okay, I just finished remodeling the build. It's still actually pretty much the same. Um, the face of it is just different now. And there's a bonus space. But are you ready to see it? Ta-da! Let's do a little fly around. So this is the front of the house. As you can see, the main body of the house is relatively similar to what it was before. I just added on this really cool front porch area. I decided to make the house itself this purple plank material. And then I changed my mind at the last second and I changed all these walls and fences to a glazed terracotta. If you're confused about that, the glazed terracotta in my texture pack actually just looks like colored stone. At first, all the fences and walls were the same material as the house but it just looked too like it was too much so I decided to break it up a little bit with a different material as we go around the house you'll notice that there's a little balcony upstairs there's also a bump out on this side of the house and then as we go around to the other side this is brand new in the original build submission there was just a little outdoor garden area there but that gave me a good idea I decided that it would be cool to build onto the house and have like a greenhouse sunroom living room type of situation. So that's what that's gonna be. 
But let's go over here at the start of the path and let's go on a tour of the empty house. So this is the path leading up to the house. Now it's so cute, I like it a lot. You can walk around the porch this way. You can walk around the porch this way and there's actually another entrance over there. Instead of going through that door though, let's go through the main door. So when you walk in, this is what you see. Um, I'm still probably gonna keep this as the kitchen like the original build had. But as you probably noticed, the balcony from the upstairs is now looking down into this part of the house instead of the other part of the house. I used some more of the glazed terracotta on the inside of the house just to give some of these walkways some more detail. But as we pass through this one, you'll see that we have the stairs right here leading up to the second floor. If we go to the left, this is that little new bump out I was talking about. And over here are the doors leading out to the front porch. Over on this side, we have this weird little space that I'm not sure what to do with yet, but this is the really cool sunroom. But I basically just want to turn this into a really cool living room greenhouse type of thing. Oh, and this space over here is going to be perfect for a dining area. As we go up the stairs, this is the new lofted space. The balcony is no longer on this side. It is in the front now, like I said before. By moving that though, we have so much more space now. I did make this part of the house about like two blocks wider though, so it is also bigger because of that. But now we have space over here for stuff. We have space over here for stuff and there's a little baby balcony. Balcony. Now if we head back downstairs, I can show you the outside. So through these doors, there's a little purple path leading to the jet pen. Hello! I kept the sheep pen the same heart shape that it was before, I just changed the colors to white and purple. I planted a lot of oak and purple trees around the backyard, obviously there's a lot of flowers. And I kept the garden thing that they made too, except again, I just changed the color scheme so now the fences are white and the roof is purple. Okay, well now that you've seen the backyard of this house, the house itself, and the front yard, it's time to decorate and I think I'm gonna start off the decorating with the kitchen now since this house is purple I was really considering decorating the entire interior with purple as well But since the original build had blue floors I figured it'd be kind of fun if I decorate it with blue So right along this wall would be the perfect spot for the kitchen counters to go we could put a fridge in the corner Why does it do that? Wait, why can I see outside? Hello? What about this side? Do you like this side better? No! What is this magic? Hello? Why can't I see through you? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I'm just gonna put it there. Okay, well, let's put some paper towels over here. And I have this oven and this microwave, but they just, I feel like they just don't match like this style of stuff. We're doing the old school Minecraft oven. There we go. Now, if you watch my videos, you know I usually always put islands in my kitchen, but I'm not sure which one to use. I found this as like a possibility. And then I also found this. I really like this one because it has the ledge that sticks out, but like I like the light countertops with this one. So yeah, we're picking this one. I know it's kind of weird that there's drawers there, but um, we're placing stools and we're just gonna pretend that we can still access those drawers even when people are sitting down. Now the space above this kitchen is kind of awkward. It's like a giant blank wall with nothing on it. So let's add a little window to match the one on this side. That's a little better. And then I think to fill up the rest of the space, we could just have some fairy lights. So I just found these cupboards, which I feel like would help fill up the ends of the space really nicely. Oh, and I also put a microwave on top of the fridge. I actually found one that kind of matches. And now to fill up these empty spaces, we can just add some plants. Now across from the kitchen, since the front door is right here, I figured we could just have like a little walk-in front entrance kind of dresser table catch-all place. So we can add something like this. On either side, we can display some armor, like we're storing jackets or coats or something like that. And then on the table itself, we could have a purple lantern and a plant. If we wanted to, we could even have a little bit of carpet. For the dining area, I was thinking we could put a table over here like this. And I found some of these like place settings? I want to see if they work on this table. Oh my god, wait, it's so tiny. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's so small. Uh, okay. Well, these only face one way. I can't, I, I can't make it go any other way. Okay, instead, we can just add some cups of tea, I guess. But anyway, besides this like little dining nook spot, I want this to be like a little cute seating area too. And I thought it would be cute if we did something like this, where we have some stair frames, 
we fill it with some purple wool, and then in the empty space behind it, we can place a table with a little plant on it. I feel like it would be nice if we added some more cupboards to this empty space right here so it can kind of be like the dishware for the dining table. But now of course this looks kind of weird, but to solve all our problems, we just have to add a table with a plant on it. Okay, now this living room is gonna be a little tricky. Obviously it's gonna be full of plants, we're gonna have places to sit, but like, where do I put a TV? Let's add the plants first. So I have these cool barrels and then look, we can grow little tomato plants and things of lettuce. It's like our own little indoor greenhouse. I'm not super into the way this looks though. Um, that's kind of cute. Definitely need to hang some fairy lights in here. And then maybe this could just be a sitting area. Maybe we don't need a TV in this house. The loft upstairs is pretty big. We could just have a second hangout area up there instead. That sounds like a plan. Okay, so we have a mini garden, a little sitting area. Let's put a coffee table down in the middle. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I also want to add a rug. There we go. Oh, you know what? Maybe we could put the fireplace back over here. It's not exactly what I had in mind. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's definitely better than what was there before. I don't know what I was trying to do with that corner fireplace earlier. That, that was not cute. And then look at this. So if it's around here and we fly up, there should be a chimney about here. And then look, we have an actual chimney. Oh, what do you know what else we could do? We could surround this window with bookshelves and we can have a little reading corner across from the fireplace. Okay, now I said I want this to be like a sunroom living room, uh, which means we need a heck ton more plants. Okay, well, I think uh, I think we accomplished the uh, sunroom plant room. Now that this area is done though, I think we're actually finished with the bottom floor. So let's go upstairs. Okay, so up here, I wanna have a bedroom, a lounge area, and a desk space. Okay, so let's put a bed over here and we can add some end tables on either side like this. Now over on this table, we could add a fish bowl and over here, we can have a lamp. Now, if the TV is going to go over here, then that means we could put the couch like this. Let's add some drawers under the TV so it's kind of like an entertainment unit. And then on either side, we can add some speakers. Now, in this area across from the lounge space, I want to see if I can make this desk like turn. Over here, we can add the PC. Maybe we can add a cactus because why not? All we need is a blue chair to match what we're doing. Oh, <gasps> that goes in the corner. No way. And then look what I found. There's creeper plushies. Hopefully these don't explode. Um, but there's a blue one and there's a pink one. Now, of course, we can't forget the sheep plushies and I'm putting them everywhere. Okay, well, I think I'm done decorating the inside of the house, but before we go on a final tour, uh, in the game, it's labeled as a pan, but uh, um, what does that look like to you? Because I'm playing at 1.16.4, I don't have the DecoCraft mod, so instead of the other pot, we can use this one. Oh, and I have the perfect spot for it. Behold, the secret peapot room. Ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? Okay, well, goodbye, Peapot. It's time for us to go on a tour. Okay, so as you guys already know, this is the outside of our purple house. Now, as we go inside of our purple house, the first thing we see is the kitchen. We've got everything you could possibly need. We've got a sink, a stove, a fridge, a microwave. We also have really functional drawers that definitely open when you sit on these stools. Across from the kitchen, we just have like a little entrance area. If we go this way and to the left, we have a little seating area here, a dining table here with some storage for dishes and stuff. I added a hallway carpet. Over here, we have the reading area across from the fireplace. And this is our little sitting greenhouse sunroom. You already know what that is. And now as we go upstairs, we have the bedroom area. We have some toys scattered around. We have some cute floor cushions to sit on. There's a desk area over here. And of course, there's a lounge space. Okay, well that was a look at the inside of the house. Now let's do a quick before and after. So this was the house before, and this is the house after. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part about this transformation was. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.